president says he faced a number of deaths flies into the ground. Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is Dr. Obi Jude Rose. I'm an orthopedic doctor here in London. It's Sunday morning and you're joining me for a 48 hour on call. We're about halfway through now. I've just got to the hospital and I'm gonna catch up with my team. I'll talk to you a little bit more about my day. This is not really gonna be my average day because this is a weekend on call. This is a busy but small district general hospital in London, uh, but uh, hopefully I'll take you through the day with me and answer some of your questions. Uh, currently, I'm an ST8 and that basically means um, I'm a resident which is like uh, the residency program you have in the States we call it a specialty program and that 8 refers to the year of training so I would have done two years of foundation training which is like um, your internship and then eight years of surgical training um, so I'm what 10 years now post graduation and we're still on a rocky road but Follow me and we'll, uh, we'll get to work and I'll answer some of those questions. So I usually wake up at 6.15. I never leave my house without breakfast. I get to work at about 7.30. I will usually meet the juniors and we'll sit down and discuss all of the cases that have coming overnight. We'll discuss all the cases from the previous day. We'll review all of the x-rays and imaging and we'll make plans for the patients. Anybody who needs to go to theatre, I'll see and make sure that they're ready and prepared. Um, my team will then usually uh, disperse off to the wards or to accident and emergency. I'll go to the operating theatre where I'll brief my theatre team, we'll discuss the cases, we'll make sure that all the kit is available and that the anaesthetist has seen the patients and is happy uh, to proceed. Once we've done that, we'll spend most of the day in the operating theatre performing surgeries for broken bones and joint infections. Okay, so this is the operating theatre, or the operating suite. We have uh, five or six theatres in this particular corridor. Uh, today it's trauma and emergencies only because it's Sunday. Um, and before anything, I need to go and have a coffee. I've seen my patients, the anaesthetist is um, just doing a few bits and it's a perfect opportunity for a surgeon to sit down and get some caffeine. Okay, so this is the trauma theatre. I always bring my music, crucial. Right. It's gonna be a right side, three hole, gold, proximal locking thing. Once I've selected the kit, I will organize the theater. I'll make sure that there's enough access for the radiographer, that the screen is in a good position, and that everybody knows their roles prior to starting the operation. Today I've been operating all day on broken bones. I've done um, some wrist fractures, uh, dislocation around the wrist. Um, I've, we've had some infected joints we've had to wash out. And it's about six o'clock now. And essentially we're winding down the operating and I'm gonna go now to the ED and see what's been going on. Uh, patients that have come in over the day with broken bones or patients that need decisions making. Um, we'll go and see them now and we'll, we'll try and make a plan and we'll also plan our operating day for tomorrow um, So tomorrow's Monday. It won't actually be me that's operating on these patients I'll organize them and then I'll hand them over in the morning and I'll meet into my colleague who will then operate on them um, Orthopedic is a great job. I think it's slightly different depending on where you do it, but all in all I think orthopedic surgeons are great people. We like to have fun. When I'm operating, I don't know if you've seen any of my videos. I play uh, music and we have a good time in the theatre. My, my staff are pretty relaxed. It's really a kind of open environment. I think everybody enjoys being in theatre and then 
um, seeing the patients afterwards. Um, so that's what I'm going to go and do now. We've just finished operating. I'm going to go and see the patients, let them know that everything went well today. We had no problems today at all. Um, and then we'll go to a and &E and see what's going on. Hopefully I can take you with me through some of that. So I've just finished my ward round, it's about 8 o'clock. Um, I have some really sick patients in the ITU. I'm going to try and go home, um, but likelihood I'll get called back. But at least I'll go home and get some food and get some rest, and then if something happens overnight, I'll come back. Um, but I'm sorry I didn't get to show you more of the day, um, but I'm still on call, so if anything happens, I'll definitely bring you with me. That's Eddie there, our diligent SHO. Hey. Holding down the fort. Yeah, yeah. Looking after the patients. Yep. Can I go home? Yes, you could. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. keep everyone alive? Yeah, I'm gonna hold down the fort. You been busy today? Uh, it's fairly busy. But yeah, you know, you know it is. Any good any good cases today? Yeah, it's been quite a few. I had a few hip fractures and few stuff fractures today, right? And stuff, yeah. Staying hydrated? Yep. That's my water right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Crucial, yeah? Yeah. All right, man. Chum knuckle, yeah. I'm going home. Take care. Peace. Alright. Okay, so I'm leaving the building. Uh, I know there's a high likelihood that I'm gonna come back, but I don't mind because I get to go home for a few hours, have some food and chill out a bit. Um, Ade is the junior on the team and he's gonna look after the patients and call me if there's any issues. Um, and boy, there we go. Can't complain too much. Just been called back in, got a sick patient, quickly found some clothes, I'm off, I'll see you there. So, I've come to take a patient to theatre who's got necrotizing fasciitis, which uh, the media call the flesh-eating bacterial infection. It's aggressive, it will kill her if we don't do something immediately. So that's why I'm here at one o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, this will make a difference to our lady's life and um, we can get her hopefully back into her family and back to her family. Keep you posted. <laughs> Okay, so the bride done, the patient survived. Uh, it was gruesome, probably not necrotizing fasciitis, but will make a difference to her life. Hopefully, save it. She's on ITU now. Um, and hopefully, we've helped her. It's about 3.30 a.m. and I need to go get some sleep for about three hours. And then I'm back up again. Okay, so I was gonna go home, but I found myself in our cool room. Locate some blankets. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Do me, thought I was going home after working all night, but no, I need me to stay and do some more trauma this morning. What a day. The kid with a broken wrist. Gonna manipulate it, put the cast back on it, and maybe use some wires to hold it stable. Once it's done that, I'm gonna retire. Finally. And that's been my own call. Okay, so I'm finally leaving the building. It's been a long night and a long weekend. I hope you liked what you saw. I'm exhausted, so please excuse the disheveled doctor look. Um, hit me with a comment, subscribe, hit the like button share all that good stuff check me out on instagram for more but i'm going to bed have a good one